Hello Math Wizards! So today, we're going to learn something new. So you can call me Teacher Mel and I am a public school teacher and at the same time a mathematics teacher for almost 5 years. So I love to eat and numbers and it has been my passion for kids to learn and love math. Today, my goal is to help you understand the probability of simple events. So, at the end of this presentation, I would like you to define the probability and simple event, find the probability of simple events, and awareness on the importance of probability in real-life scenario. But first, let us define what do we mean by the word probability. When we say probability, it is a chance that something will happen. Kinukuha natin yung possible na mangyayari or nagpre-predict tayo ng outcome or result based on sa given problem. Usually, in math, we deal with things that always happen the same way. Ibig sabihin, sa math, pag sinabi natin 1 plus 1, the answer is always 2. Sa math, pag sinabi natin 2 times 3, the answer is always 6. But in the real world, things aren't always predictable. Ibig sabihin, sa totoong buhay, hindi natin napredict ang mangyayari. Kaya, gumagamit tayo ng word na probability. How likely something is going to happen. Okay. Next, define naman natin ano ibig sabihin ng simple event. Pag sinabi natin simple event, it is an event which has a single outcome. The formula for simple event is P of event equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. The numerator is the number of favorable outcomes while the denominator is the total number of possible outcomes. Okay. Let me show you the probability line and the probability rules. The first one is the probability of any event is a number. It's either a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. It is between 0 to 1. The next one, if an event will never happen, then its probability is zero. So kapag ang event never na mangyayari, yung probability niya ay zero or impossible to happen. Example, mayroon na kong set ng yellow ping pong balls. Ano yung probability without looking na yung mapipili ko is red? So impossible siya to happen because all I have is a set of yellow ping pong balls. Next, Ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng word na unlikely? Unlikely, possible siya na mangyari, pero maliit lang yung chance. Parang when I flip or when I roll this die, ano yung probability na ang makukuha ko is 1? So, unlikely to happen siya. Possible na mangyari, pero maliit lang yung chance. Next naman, ano naman yung even chance? So, para siyang flipping a coin. Kasi, dalawa lang yung option. It's either a head or a tail. Pag nag-flip ako ng coin, dalawa lang yung possible outcome. Kaya, even yung chance. Either a head or a tail. Next is, likely. Pag sinabing likely, mas malaki yung chance or yung probability of the event. Example, meron tayong 5 balls. Four of them is blue and one is red. So, yung probability without looking, ang makuha ko or ma-pick is blue balls is likely to happen or malaking chance. Because, meron tayong apat na blue balls out of five. Ang next naman rule is, if an event is sure to happen, then the probability is one. Or, tinatawag siyang certain. Example, I have a set of yellow ping pong balls. 
without looking, ano yung probability na ang makukuha ko is yellow ping pong balls. Probability is 1. Bakit 1? Sure to happen. Kasi wala namang ibang colors sa set ng ping pong balls na meron ako except yellow. The sum of the probabilities of all the outcomes in the sample space is 1. If I add all the probabilities in the outcomes, the result is 1. Okay, so move on tayo sa first example. First example natin is this one. A box contains marbles. Five are red, six are blue, and nine are yellow. What is the probability that the red marble will be picked? First, write the formula in the simple event, which is the P of E, number of favorable outcomes, over the total number of possible outcomes. Ano yung aim natin? We need to identify the probability of picking a red marble. First, i-identify natin. How many red marbles are there? So, based from the problem, there are 5 red marbles. So, we have yung number of favorable outcomes natin is 5. Next, number total number of possible outcomes. So, for us to identify the total number of possible outcomes, we need to add all the marbles in the box. So we have 5 red, 6 blue, 9 are yellow. So therefore, we add them all together. We have 20. So the total number of possible outcomes is 20. Okay, reduce this to lowest term. So therefore, the probability that red marble will be picked is 1 fourth. 0.25 or 25%. Okay, so let's now move on to example number 2. A numbered cube is rolled. What is the probability of getting an even number? First, we write the formula. Number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. Next is, we understand the problem. Mm -hmm. So, we need to examine a cube, a numbered cube. We all know that a cube meron siyang six faces. It's numbered from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Next, ano yung question? We need to identify the probability of getting an even number. So, we need to... Find out how many even numbers are there in the cube. So we have 1, 2, and 3. So meron tayong 3 even numbers. Ito ay si 2, si 4, and 6. Next, the total number of possible outcomes. So there are 6 possible outcomes. We have the 1, the 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Next is, reduce the lowest term. So therefore, the probability of getting an even number is 1 half. 0 0.5 or 50%. So let's now move on to example number 3. What is the probability of getting a red card from a standard deck of cards? So we write first the formula, P of P equal to the number of favorable outcomes and the total number of possible outcomes. Based from our problem, it was stated standard deck of cards. So we need to examine what is the total number of standard deck of cards. So we have 13 flowers, which are black, 13 spades, which are black, 13 diamond, which are red, 13 hearts, which are red. So, a total of 52 cards. So, a standard deck of cards is composed of 52 cards. 26 are red cards and 26 are black cards. So, we have 4 kings, 4 queen, 4 jack, 4 ace, and so on. 
Okay. So, going back to the problem, we have our formula. And we need to identify the probability of getting a red card. So, we need to identify how many red cards are there in a standard deck of cards. So, we have 26 red cards and the total number of possible outcome is 52. So, reducing to lowest term, the probability of getting a red card is 1 half, 0.5 or 50%. Okay, so try this one. You can post the video and then answer key will follow. Thank you everyone if you have any questions please don't hesitate to email me at mailwizard at gmail.com and i'm happy to answer any question keep safe